Our proposal for the Hamilton Mausoleum aims to transform the space into a new storytelling centre and writer's retreat that can provide spaces for gathering, recording and preservation of stories of both Hamilton itself and also of the wider community in South Lanarkshire. The existing mausoleum sits disconnected from its parkland context. The disruption of historic paths towards the mausoleum have left it as a confusing space with no clear frontage or active public space. Our project seeks to remedy this whilst also celebrating the history of the structure. Our new proposals take inspiration from the acoustic qualities of the mausoleum. Proposed spaces are crafted as echoes of the existing structure, creating a physical connection between old while giving the new spaces harmony with the context. We have proposed a new public space in front of the mausoleum, a gatehouse and a writer's retreat located in the existing keeper's lodge. Internally, the upper levels of the mausoleum are changed into a space primarily for oral storytelling. The circular plan of the main room is ideally suited for the gathering of storytellers and listeners. The storytelling performance in this location could take many forms, from prose to poetry, song, rap, theatrical performances and so on. A large velvet curtain around the perimeter of the space can be configured in several ways to suit the type of performance taking place and allow acoustic control of the mausoleum's famous 15 second echo. The crypt level remains an intimate space for storage but now serves as a newly accessible archive of parts of the Low Park Museum collection to help create an understanding of South Lanarkshire's history. Where once the crypt stored personal memories of individuals, it is now able to become a space of public collective memory. Externally, the barren space in front of the mausoleum becomes a new flexible outdoor stage which complements the intimacy of the internal performance space. The dimensions of this new public space mirror the dimensions of the mausoleum itself, here, more informal, larger events help expand the possible stories and audience for the building. When not in use, the space acts as a generous public square for visitors to the park. The depth of the ground can help with excess flooding that poses a risk to the mausoleum and protects the structure. Anchoring this new programme to the site is a new gatehouse, which will act as a visitor centre and reception for the mausoleum. The design for the gatehouse is inspired by the mausoleum itself using the same 17.5 metre square footprint. The elevations are composed using a fish scale motif echoing the one found on the historic gates to the mausoleum, so the mausoleum gates become the gatehouse itself. Inside the gatehouse will act as a visitor centre, shop, office space and cafe that is able to support the functions of the storytelling centre and generate income. The dilapidated lodge house is given a new purpose as a creative space hosting a programme of residencies for writers. This building would allow writers to escape the distractions of daily life during a stay in which they can create work inspired by and related to the setting. To support the activity in the writer's lodge, we have provided two apartments with sleeping accommodation and private studio space, as well as a shared kitchen and living accommodation on the upper floor. The lower level contains a printer room, stationery store, a library with books in the local area and a small bookshop to sell the work made in the lodge. As well as these spaces, we have included a room that could be used for exercise, yoga or contemplation. We have also included a small cycle store and workshop for use by the writers which would allow them to explore Strathclyde Park and the surrounding areas during their stay. The new extension to the lodge house is a continuation of the echo narrative. It mirrors the existing lodge house and plan along a central axis. Two apartments are created, one housed within the existing and one in the new extension. The new space offers the same rich qualities of the existing, providing a space for escape for writers. The materials of the new elements have been selected to echo the fish scale motif found in the current mausoleum gates, with the pattern being cast into coloured concrete. We are proposing to use hematite as the pigment in the concrete cladding as this was historically used to dye burial robes in ancient Egypt. We think this creates a nice narrative link to the mausoleum's former use as a monument. Thank you for the opportunity to present our ideas for how we might save Hamilton Mausoleum and Keeper's Lodge for the cultural benefit of future generations and to preserve the stories of Hamilton and South Lanarkshire.